Hi, I'm Jeff Shoup, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of a two-inch fire hose attack system. Back in the 1970s, the fire service had three basic hose size options, booster line, one and a half inch, and two and a half inch attack lines. Also back in that time, we knew that the fire environment was changing. We saw synthetics coming on the horizon, and of course they were making for hotter fires, smokier, more dense, more toxic, and so forth. Many fire departments left the inch and a half hose in favor of inch and three quarter hose. Two inch was on the horizon also, and we saw the two inch gaining popularity in the early 80s. And the two inch hose, was never meant to replace two and a half inch hose, but it was actually turned out to be an intermediate size hose line. And you can see right here, this two inch hose is outfitted with inch and a half couplings. Here's two inch hose right here with two and a half inch couplings, okay? This is something that happens when you have a new product on the market. Sometimes there's innovations where other fire departments like to see something like this. Some fire departments say, this is fine. I want to make a point about the inch and a half couplings right here. We're going to take a look at it. If you take a look at that inch and a half coupling right there, you can also see inside the, the, uh, the hose, and you can see it's like a polymer type lining. This lining in here allows for greater volume at reduced friction. So it allows us to give our firefighters a stream that is higher in volume, and less of a reaction force, less weight, and so forth. And to match it up with the nozzle, okay? This is a one and one sixteenth inch nozzle right here, okay? Old hydraulics formulas, old hydraulics rules would say that a solid tip should never exceed 50% of the hose's diameter. Well, this is one and one sixteenth on a two inch line. And we're seeing now, again, with the materials used in the construction of the hose, with those greater flows, now we have an inch and three-eighths waterway coupled with a one and one sixteenth inch tip, and we're able to get substantial flows. And we've seen flows consistently in the 240 to 260 gallon per minute range. And that's a bigger bang for the buck especially for many fire departments where they're concerned about what their gallon per minute output is for the number of firefighters that they may have responding on an engine. One of the things about the two inch hose, when it came into the fire service, and I know I got my experience with the two inch hose started back in the early 80s, there was a lot of promises made that the two inch hose was going to be replacing two and a half inch hose. And I think one of the problems that the fire service had was that we didn't have the technology of flow meters available readily to test that theory out. If the two inch hose really could flow more than a two and a half at lesser weight and uh, lesser size and so forth. But a lot of fire departments did go with two inch hose and unfortunately they did away with their two and a half inch hose back then in favor of two inch hose with automatic nozzles. And I think the consensus uh, over time has been the two inch hose with an automatic nozzle is not a good fit. Uh, I think what happened in a lot of cases, people did not understand that if you're going to go to two inch hose and you have a variable flow nozzle as the automatic nozzle is, and it has a variable range per the manufacturer, but some nozzles had a 50 to 350 gallon minute flow range. To push 250 uh, or 260 gallons a minute or more through a two inch hose, with a 100 PSI nozzle may require a lot more pressure at the pump to get that volume of water through the hose. What happened in a lot of cases is that the back pressure was sometimes very high. And instead of pumping at the right pressure and getting that volume of water that we thought we were getting, the pressure was dialed back at the pump. And of course, the way an automatic nozzle works is that the stream looked good but the volume of water was not what we thought it was. So as time goes on, many fire departments uh, looked at things, had flow meters uh, because they came, uh, became available. And 
as we started realizing the flows, inch and three quarter to two inch, what's the difference and so forth. In many cases, the two inch line was flowing what an inch and three quarter line could flow. So the question was, well then why do we have this hose line when we can get the same flow from the inch and three quarter line? So we had to do our nozzle research and that's where nozzles like this, your low pressure, high volume nozzles. As we mentioned before, this is a, a solid bore nozzle right here. There's different tip sizes. Different tip sizes at the predetermined operating pressure for a solid tip is 50 PSI. So this is a 1 and 1 16. You can look at 1 inch tips or 1 and 1 8 inch tips to go on here also. This hose here, coupled with a low pressure, uh, high volume nozzle, Fantastic for firefighters or fire department that want to get in there, move around and so forth. I was talking earlier about the materials used in the construction of the outer jacket. Back then in the early 80s when we had this hose, you had rubber liners and you had double jackets that were made of materials that required a bigger radius to bend. Unfortunately, sometimes this hose got pulled into a residential structure that had tight areas and so forth. And with only two firefighters working it, or in some cases, only one firefighter would work it. And the thinking was, because it had inch and a half couplings, and it was only one quarter inch bigger diameter than inch and three quarter, that one firefighter, he could hold this line, right? And it really didn't work out as planned. Over time, with the uh, new materials and, and, and so forth that go into the manufacture of these hoses, we've realized it's a great intermediate size line it has higher volume, and now it has that bend radius that we can go even tighter on that. So it does have the capabilities and so forth. So, but never should this line have been talked about as replacing two and a half.